In the SketchUp demo, I want to cover how the Rotate tool works. So what I'm going to do is create a simple shape to have something to rotate. I'm just going to use a rectangle that's 10 feet by 10 feet and use the push-pull tool to extrude it up another 10 feet. So we just have a big cube. Now, if we want to rotate this, the first thing we're going to need to do is select it. So to select something entirely, remember we can either click and drag to select the entire object, or we can triple click on it to get the entire thing. Once we have that, we can pick the rotate tool. The rotate tool is a little tricky in that it will let you pick the X, Y, or Z axis to rotate around. So if we let it lay flat on the ground, or we could even be on the top surface, it will turn blue. That means we're going to spin around the blue z-axis. So that's this one right here. So that means it will spin around that vertical axis. So I will click a uh, starting point, And then what it wants to do is have a reference angle. So I will just click a line straight out in one direction or the other. So I might just go out this way. And once I click, I can then pull my mouse around and it will spin around that blue z-axis. While I'm doing that, notice that the value control box in the lower right hand corner says angle now. So this will be the angle from the starting point, which will be zero, and then we can watch that angle grow. So now I'm at 39 and 40 and 50. So if I wanted to flip it 90, I could just watch and click when I get there. If I wanted to do it again on the blue z-axis, I could click it pick my reference angle, and then rotate it, for example, 50 degrees. I can type in 50, enter, and now we have that at 50 degrees. If I click make my reference angle along the side and go back this way, you'll see that I could easily take it from this arbitrary angle, maybe I didn't know that was at 50 degrees, and spin it back to be at a perfect 90 degree angle with either axis. Okay, so it's really easy to uh, get something nice and lined up. If I hold my mouse over a corner and let it flip to the green axis, pick my reference angle, you'll see that it's now spinning around the green axis and will behave in the same way. And I can also let it flip pick my reference angle, and go around the red. So you can actually spin around all three angles. While I'm doing that, I can even create a copy of what I'm rotating. So I could pick, and I'll let it go along the bottom, pick my reference angle, and then when I start to move it, I'll hit the control key and get a plus next to the rotate symbol on my cursor. That means I'm actually going to rotate a copy instead. So now I could have something that looks like this. If I hit control Z to just back up a step, I can triple select, get my box here, hit the rotate tool, but instead of picking a point on the rot or the uh, object rather, I could pick a point away from it, pick my axis line, and you'll see that you can rotate around a point that's away from your object. And if I hit the control key and have two, you'll see that now my copy is rotating away from my object. So your base point does not actually have to be attached to your object. Okay, so that's the the basics of how the rotate tool works and how you can make a copy and actually rotate the copy at once so you don't have to do it in two separate moves.